Hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. I'm Mosey Designer and today's tutorial will leapfrog over the last tutorial which was how to create a basic landscape material. For this tutorial we're going to add a layer of foliage to that landscape or a basic way of how to add it. So to do that we need to get two packs from the Unreal Engine marketplace Again, from Project Nature, they have some really good stuff up here. The first pack you need is called Temperate Vegetation Spruce. And the second one is Temperate Vegetation Foliage, version 2.0. Again, you can find these by going to Project Nature and scrolling down. And right here on the first page are the first two packs we need. Temperate Vegetation Spruce, Temperate Vegetation Foliage. Uh, get them add them to your library. Once they're in your library, and if your library is cluttered like mine, you can go to Category and change it to uh, Props. And you should have the Temperate Vegetation Spruce Pack and the Temperate Vegetation Foliage Pack version 2.0. Add them to your project. I've already done it to mine. I have Landscape Learning from the last tutorial. Hopefully you guys have this as well. If not, you can follow the last tutorial quickly and then come to this step next. But either way, you want to add it to your project. I'm going to don't add because I already have it. And I'm going to load up the project itself. I'm going to go to File, uh, Recent Levels, Landscape Learning. And I've already messed around with some stuff here, so ignore it. But what we're going to do is start fresh. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, foliage erasing and help you guys out. Let's go to my modes panel. So a advanced tutorial is, well, we have to start here anyway. So you want to go to your modes, click on the little plant icon, and that's the foliage shift, uh, shift four. As you can see, I already have some stuff in here, but I need to erase what we have. So I'm just going to select my assets here. And if you have foliage and you want to get rid of it, you can just hold shift, click, paint it off the layer. So I'm going to quickly go do that and start again of how to get to this stage. Okay, we are here with a clean slate now. This is where we left off in the last tutorial. Just a very basic terrain. Ignore those trees in the background, that's, that's okay. Uh, but we have the very basic terrain and the terrain painting. So how do we actually add foliage to it? Just ignore this step for now. Because I kind of jumped the gun and had stuff here which I shouldn't have done. But anyways, to add foliage, we want to have this tab open on the modes and then bring in our content browser. And if you hit static mesh, those two packs added, you'll have a bunch of cool, neat uh, foliage assets in here. We can narrow this down by two things, or let's say three things maybe. Let's say tree. A tree does not come up, that's odd. You need to type in the word spruce, and since the first package is a foliage spruce tree pack. So we can just select tree, and there's two ways to do this. You can do it by hand, or you can use the foliage painting tool. To do it by hand works for a specific composition. So I'm going to draw this into the world. And hopefully my recording doesn't get messed up because compiling shaders and talking doesn't work. So if you drag and drop into the world, you might have shaders compile. But I assume you want to do this by hand. So I'll grab the first tree and plop it in. Okay, so my shaders didn't compile, but yours might. But assuming you're doing a composition for a certain space,
and these are the assets you need in this exact position. So you found your assets and you moved them around. So let me click on them. Am I in the wrong mode? I probably am. Yes. So let's say this is your scene and these are the assets you need in this exact position. You can place foliage down like this. But let's say you want to cover a more larger area without doing it by hand. That's where the foliage tab comes in. So we can go back to window, modes, foliage, content. We can add these meshes to the foliage tool. So I'll grab the very first tree here and plop it in. And the tree right below it is called spruce half zero one low. And let's say you can pick whatever you feel like, but I'm going to pick this one spruce half zero three low. So I have one, two, three different tree types. I'm going to minimize that and explore this a bit more detail. Each of these say 0, 0, 0, meaning there is no instances of this asset on the map at all at the moment. And there's a checkbox next to each one. And then it says click to activate the currently selected types in this palette. So for now, let's turn off the other two trees and work with this first one. If you double click it, not double click it, but just single click it, it will, it will load more properties. And ignore the giant bubble there, that is the brush. We'll come back to that later. So it says the name of the mesh. And here you have the density. It says foliage instances we place at this density specified in the number of 1000 per 1000 unit area. You have the radius, which is how far apart each of these assets are. You can do scaling. Right now it's set to uniform. The foliage will have the same X, Y, and Z scales. You can make it free. You can lock your X and Y, lock your Z and X, or lock your Y and Z. For this tutorial, we'll just give it a uniform. You can set the scale. You can do the placement offset. And this is one thing to no note is align to normal. Whether foliage instances should have their angle adjusted away from the vertical to match the normal of the surface they're painted on. If align to normal is enabled, the random yaw is disabled. This instance will be rotated so the x-axis points down slope. So if I had a hill and I had this turned on, your tree might poke out of a hill. So let's quickly show you how that works. So I'll just sculpt some terrain here. And back to my foliage tab. So I have a line to normal on. And let's say I want the density to be 200 with a radius of 500 or even let's make it bigger 1000 and my brush size up here is set to 512 and the density is at 1. Now a line to normal is on so if I click see the tree is kind of like sideways and it's aligning to the slope of the hill. You may like this if you're finding it annoying, you can go back here, turn off a line to normal. Now the tree is painted straight up and down. So I can change my radius to 500 and just keep clicking. And I just have a clump of trees. How neat is that? So it saves me the time of doing it by hand. If I need to do it by hand, I will. But for a certain area where I just want to fill it out quickly, I would use this method. But let's turn on the other two trees. So I'll turn on the spruce half zero one low and spruce half zero three low. Feel free to change the properties if you like or the scaling. We can try that on the second tree type. We can make the minimum scale two and the max scale Four. Sure, why not? Let's change our density to 50 
with a radius of 750. And again, these values you can play with and see what works well. The next tree type, let's set their minimum scale to 0.5 and the max scale of 3.5. And align to normal is off. Align to normal is off. And the density of these guys will be 55 for every 550 radi 500 radius. So now, as you can see, I have the checkbox on one, two, and three, meaning all three tree types will start to be painted on my brush. So let me increase the size. We can even type in a number, let's say 1024. If I click, and that just put a big old variety of trees. Maybe it's too dense, so we can change the spacing on the radius. So this one is maybe, the first one is 2,000. The second one is 2,300. And the last one is 3,000. And if I have my, if I click here, they're still pretty scrunched together. Let's, let's change that. Density, let's change the density to, let's say 500, 750, and 1000. Still not what I'm looking for. Let's, let's bang out this radius. This radius is going to be like 3000. This radius, uh, I guess I never hit enter. That's probably my issue. Always hit enter. This will be 2000. And this will be 1500. Now we're starting to see some spacing. Just remember to when you type in your radius value, hit enter. So now it's just picking between those types of trees and placing them down. It may look very uniform, but that's where you can play with your, uh, your scaling values to see what works best for your project. But yeah, this is looking pretty neat. And we can hit shift, hold shift and click to erase what we don't want. So yeah, that's a pretty quick start. You can do the same thing with the rocks and grass layers. So with that in mind, let's add in a grass layer. So I'm gonna minimize this. Or actually, I could keep that open. But I'm gonna content browser, type in grass. Go to my modes. Let's see, but thing to note is that at this stage, it's gonna paint the grass, the tree, the second tree, and the third tree. We only want to paint the grass. And so you can just turn these check marks off. And notice they are now grayed out and only the grass is available. Maybe it's a bit too thin. Let's, uh, it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Let's, let's erase that and change the asset type. So if you don't want it, just hit select it, hit delete. Uh, this is more what I'm looking for. Low grass 0102. Same thing. Let's say density is 75 for a radius of 120. The min value is 2 and the max value is 5. Align to normal is off. The other three layers are off. And if I click, I'm starting to put some grass in, but I don't like it. Let's make it, let's lower the radius to let's say 15 with a density of 250. Let's increase that scale to like seven max. There we go. Look at that, a nice big old patch of grass. 
but as you can see with one click I just added 367 instances of that mesh. So this can get expensive over time for a very large area. So keep that in mind. So if you want to use this, make sure the asset you are using is super cheap. In the short term for a vignette or a small space, this is perfectly fine to use. So we can just kind of paint that grass in along the edge of our trail. Maybe down in here in the forest. So you get the idea. You can add in rocks and have them scale to different sizes. Uh, but see here I have a line to normal turned off. And the grass looks kind of weird, kind of poking out pretty straight. So let's hit shift click and erase that. And turn align to normal back on. And now that whole hill has grass in the proper direction. So align to normal can be handy for painting certain things. So that's the gist of it, how you can add foliage to your terrain. Hopefully this quick tutorial was helpful and informative. And I don't know why this is floating up here. Let's just erase that. But anyways, I hopefully this was informative. You can you got the gist of how to add foliage to your terrain. You can add rocks. You can add a bunch of other stuff, little plants, little little greeble stuff that takes forever to put by hand. But again, keep in mind, make sure the asset is cheap. Using it over and over again will not blow your performance budget. But for something simple like this, it's perfectly fine. So yeah. We just made our landscape look a little more interesting. Again, not the prettiest thing, but it's a quick tutorial. And hopefully you guys found it informative. I think I've said that like four times now. Anyways, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave questions down below. I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.